because I realized that the content on my channel is shit. It's crap. It's just trash. It's just like hey. I'm doing reaction videos. That's right. I'm changing all this to reaction videos. Okay, baby. Hello Blazers, Nafok is there and today I want to talk about yet another very very amazing YouTube personality and that personality is Bashivers. Yes, I've been defending this guy for a couple of videos when I was talking about Kimsa, you know, but I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. I'm gonna talk about what he's doing now. To be true, this man's channel is a literal representation of a man going slowly insane. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck this is about. What am I doing? I really really love the royalty for ukulele in the background. Uh, I also love in the haircut, mate. Totally doesn't look like somebody took a fat wet shit on your head. What's happening right now on Bashu's channel is literally cancer. First, it felt like it turned into a fucking dating relationship vlog channel where he used his fucking girlfriend's tits in the thumbnails to get clickbait money. You're not in a bikini. This video is gonna get absolutely no views. Get in a bikini. Ready for the views. Ready for the views. Now you should keep in mind that all of this happens in front of 1.8 million of mostly children subscribers. He made a video reacting to his own fucking breakdown. Yes, remember when Basha was just was reported on Drama Alert and got a lot of hate, got called a pedophile, a rapist, and stuff like that. But the video is literally cancer. I mean, just take a look at this. Been up for so oh. long and I'm oh. so stressed right now and it's just He's twist. I'm done. Is this a serious video? The oh. second time being called a fucking rapist! Holy I'm shit! Whoa! He literally asks if this guy is gonna kill himself like 20 times in the video. Oh, is he gonna kill himself? Is this he guy gonna like, fucking kill himself? You know and at some point he literally does the Kimsta comedic popcorn consumption. Oh my god, no, no, I'm I'm done, I'm done. The problem here is that, you know, when he uploaded that video, the breakdown, a lot of people actually felt sorry for him, you know? Many people actually felt empathic and, you know, really understood that uh, he's not feeling well and that he needs help. And, you know, vid that video was pretty depressing actually. But now that he uploaded this fucking reaction, he literally shows a fucking middle finger to everyone who ever felt sorry for him. Bashuas right now thinks that this self-aware bullshit is great because, you know, in a lot of videos he literally says, I'm getting tired of using my girlfriend. So today I'm not gonna be using my girlfriend for views, that's right. And literally says that uh, his content is clickbait at this point. Clickbait. Clickbait never changes. <laughs> Being a savage and being self-aware has to have a limit still. I think you've lost the limit here. I don't know what's going to this guy's head, but he's pretty much insane at this point. I mean, look at that face. I mean, you could see the pain in his eyes as he's doing the fucking reaction video. Oh my god. This guy is just the definition of desperate for views. You know Lion Maker? He is also getting on drum alert. He's also uh, getting in a similar situation. A Lion Maker actually made a pretty good video. Yes, he made a video response to Keemstar saying that he was hacked. And, you know, he made a pretty constructive, uh, calm response. And he still continues doing what he's done before. When Basha was did a fucking breakdown. The thing is that the, the Basha was channel was a channel with a really young audience. It was like, you know, kids or about 10 uh, slash 15, maybe even younger. Well, the thing is that he just stopped making those Minecraft videos that the kids liked. And he just started making, you know, this fucking Clara Baby Lex cleavage videos. And it's literally cancer. Oh my god. He, he's just not taking the drama, the, you know, the fame and the hate that he's got. He didn't take it the right way. And I don't think there's any way to actually improve from now. So, I guess we could say that Basher, rest in peace. You go down in history as the ultimate cock. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been No Fuckers, the YouTube legend, the YouTube sensation. Make sure to smash that motherfucking like button if at least in the end you got to fuck her in the ass. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.